today I'm out at my obelisk bed and I'm trying to improve my watering situation. Um, this bed is 63 foot by 10 foot, I believe, maybe eight. I can't remember for sure. Um, and it's very dry out here. I don't have any irrigation. I have to drag a water hose from across the yard. So, um, and this end is high and dry. At one time it was flooding and drowning. So I put a deep ditch around it to help it drain on out to the road ditch. Um, but it's, it's just very, very dry. And it takes a long time to water it. So I'm, the front of the bed is higher. The back is lower. And I'm trying to make a ditch that runs about three quarters of the way through it to so that the water will just hit it and run the entire length and soak deeply. And basically I'll be able to just come out here and lay the water hose in it and go do something else and come back and the, uh, most of the bed will be watered. Um, I'm trying not to let the water get in the high side over here and waste as much. I've already watered on this end and kind of got a little ditch going in the back, back there. But um, it's getting really hot and dry and I've planted a few new flowers today so I wanted to make sure that they all get a water and I'll be coming out and watering regularly because of the new plants that I've just put in to make sure that they get adjusted for a week or two. Um, I rigged up this this morning um, to be watering while I was working. I just went and got some rubber ties and tied my water hose onto that. Um, it's just an old tripod that I had in the back. And um, I've watered it really well overhead. It's hit the ditches and ran down the entire length of it. I've been moving the tripod up and down as I work and fine tuning it with my hoe. Um, it's kind of sad looking, but um, this is just the first year that I've really got a lot going on in it. And I'm trying to get perennials popped in it here and there. It's a lot of zinnias that I planted from seed um, for some color for right now, but it's a work in progress. It used to flood when it would rain. This bed would go completely under. So we've cut a, a big ditch there. It goes out there and hits the highway uh, ditch. And um, I've got this really deep ditch that runs all the way around. When the field floods, it hits that now. And the field, it drains by the time it quits raining really fast. And my flowers no longer rot. If you like this video or found it useful, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.